Hello. We have today some reading comprehension. Uh, some reading comprehension. We all know that uh, Algeria had been invaded by uh, different nations, uh, people coming from other countries. Um, the Phoenicians, the Romans, the Ottomans or the Turkish, and at last the French. We were, Algeria was colonized by the French at last. Well, uh, Algeria can be proud of uh, some places. For example, we have the Kasbah in Algiers. Uh, we have Tingad. We have Tipaza. We have Jemila. Um, these places are uh, is historical and they can be considered as world heritage sites. It means they have got a historical value. The world heritage world heritage Sites. Jamila. Tingad. Okay. Um, now I'd like you to turn your books on page twenty two. On page twenty two. And I want you to look the picture which is on, the, on page 22. What does this picture represent? What does it represent? I think it represents rock paintings, some drawings, some uh, engravings, we can say that these are the remains of the prehistoric civilizations. And uh, look, you can see animals, people moving, hunting, going uh, somewhere. Uh, I think that it uh, it, it tells you about the past life of people who invaded Algeria in the prehistoric times. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where can you see these drawings? Well, I think we can see this in the Tassili in Sahara. Uh, where uh, you can see animals, I said, people. Now, I'd like you to look on page 23. We can see at the bottom of the text adapted from the Encyclopedia of Africana. Means that that uh, text was taken from the Encyclopedia of Africana. Means you can go and check on page 69. And it is good sometimes to do some research on your own. Okay. 
Now read the, te the title of the text. We can read Algeria at the crosswords of civilizations. Well, there is a word here, crossroad. Crossroad, in English, it means the place where two roads cross each other. So, it is a metaphor. We mean that Algeria has known different civilizations. Ancient civilizations. And these civilizations have left some traces, some remains, some ruins, and some drawings, engravings, all these uh, that can remind you of past civilizations. This time we are going to read how Algeria was invaded by ancient civilizations. And uh, why Algeria? We, we know that Algeria has got a very good, uh, I could say, a privileged situation, geographic position. It is, uh, well, it is between Sahara and the Mediterranean. Uh, so, it was invaded by the sea and by the uh, uh, Sahara in the south of Algeria. Okay. Let's try to understand the, 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 the text together. I'd like you to read the first paragraph uh, means from no country to other civilizations and give examples of some world heritage sites. Well, I think you have here uh, Tipaza, Jemila, Tassili Najer, Tingad, the Mzab Valley, the Kala of the uh, Banu Hamad, and the Kasba of Algiers. Means they, when you go to these places, you can understand that many civilizations invaded Algeria. Let's move to the second paragraph. And they, uh, here we are going to have some questions about the second paragraph. What do I write the question what do the paintings on walls, rocks, and engravings inform you about. Okay? I think that uh, the answer is in the text. It informs you, well, uh, they inform you about the prehistoric civilizations. Second question can write whose 
traces do the Saharian sites contain okay well what whose traces do the Saharian sites contain whose it means to whom I mean people I think in my uh, second paragraph I can guess it was uh, they were traces of the Phoenicians and Romans. Let's read the third paragraph. And I'd like you to answer the following questions. Okay? Who founded Icosium uh, I think the Phoenicians who destroyed it and when I think the the vandals the vandals were people who destroyed everything who rebuilt it what was its first name? Well, I think Emir Bolorin rebuilt it and it was called Al Jazair. Now, I, I think we have, we are going to read the fourth paragraph. And you can answer, I'd like you to answer the question, which civilization introduced palaces and mosques in Algiers. Very easy. I think the Ottomans or the Ottoman Empire. Does the Kasbah remain the cultural heart of the city? I think yes. But there is something I would like you to know when the French colonized Algeria they brought some changes to the Kasbah and it is still the cultural heart of Algeria but it doesn't uh, it didn't remain as it was during the Ottoman colonization or invasion. Okay? Right? So we can say that it remains, the Kasbah remains the cultural heart of the city of Algiers. If one day you go to Algiers, try to visit the Kasbah. Thank you for today.